So we are sweltering up there. The warm days are adding up in Alexa Cachabata's fourth grade math class. Students are miserable. They're hot. They're sweaty. With only a few windows that will only open a little and the heat rising to her third floor classroom at the Wheatley Education Campus. So my classroom has been 80 to 85 degrees um, for going on two weeks now. Alexa says her students are suffering. Students are crying today. Students are very cranky. They're miserable. They have headaches. Their stomachs hurt. Twice a year, the building's heating and cooling system has to be switched between hot and cold. Just one of 500 buildings the Department of General Services has to switch over. Last week, DGS told the D.C. Council different mechanical systems in different buildings slows the switch over down. Some are a lot easier uh, to switch over than others. DGS says this transition from hot to cold is a challenge every year, but not at every school. I've had teachers in wards one and wards three, no surprise, reach out and say, hey, I've always been able to control my HVAC. We can turn the heat, the air on, we can control our temperature. And that was also the case when I worked at um, a school in Ward 2. So. Other DCPS schools? Yes, other DCPS schools. DGS says it could be May 15th before the AC is on. Alexa says her kids need more help from DCPS before then. The answers are coming from people sitting in air conditioning, not the people that have to face the children every day who are miserable and crying and begging to go home. Casey Nolan, WUSA 9.